All right, I'm going to show you how you can easily enhance the color and contrast of your image. I've got, uh, I've got GIMP up right now with a photo that I took on a day where it was almost completely overcast. There was very little direct sunlight, so I knew that this image was going to look really washed out. And when I say washed out, I mean the colors look faded. There's not a lot of contrast to it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click to get our menu and we're going to go into colors and we're going to go into levels. And this is going to bring up our histogram on the image. Now, I won't go over the, the histogram in detail during this tutorial, but I will in another tutorial. So, but needless to say, if you look at this left slider, these are your dark colors in your image. When it, and it represents, zero represents black. If I take this slider and I move it to the right, you can see that the image is darkening. So that redefines what black is in the color. And if I take the right hand slider and I move it to the left, you'll see that the image is lightening up. So the right hand slider will make the lightest colors in the image lighter and the left hand slider will make the dark colors in the image darker. And then the slider in the center adjusts your gamma or your midtones. So if I move it to the left, it will make the midtones lighter. And if I move it to the right, it will make the midtones darker. All right, so we're going to reset that to one. On outdoor images, I have found that GIMP does very good with auto adjusting the input levels in your image. In indoor images where the lighting is pretty bad, it typically needs a little more help. But for outdoor images, this works really well. So I'm going to select the auto input levels. Okay, I don't know if you're watching the image at the moment that I did that. Let me undo that. Let me reset it. Now see how faded and everything is. Now watch the image when I check when I select the auto input level. You see what an improvement that was in the image already. All right, so I'm going to select OK for that. Now the the camera that I use for these images is a Canon Rebel. Uh, it's an EOS. It's a T2i. I've had it for years and years and years, and it takes really good outdoor images even in terrible lighting like this but you know no cameras perfect so this is a way that you can even if you got a good camera uh, this is a way that you can make your images much much better when you don't have the best of lighting all right so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our layer and we are going to duplicate that layer and I've got this layer selected and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into colors and I am going to go into desaturate and I'm going to select color to gray. Okay, so now you can see that it is, it's removing all the colors from the image. It almost looks like a ghost image and I'm going to select OK. And then up here on uh, the layer, I'm going to rename this layer and I'm going to rename it Grayscale. Now it doesn't make a lot of difference when you're only dealing with two layers. I'm only going to be dealing, dealing with two layers in this image. But when you're doing a lot of enhancements to an image and you've got a big stack of layers and some of the layers look very similar, it really, really helps if you name your layers so that you can tell them apart. Okay, so I've got my ghost image here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go up here where it says mode. And right now it says normal. So it's not doing anything to the layer underneath it. I'm going to select subtract. Where's my subtract? There we go. Subtract. Okay, so what, what, what this is going to do when I select subtract is every pixel in the image has a value. Black is 0, white is 255. What it's doing with that 
grayscale image is it's taking the value of every one of those pixels and it's subtracting it from the layer below. Whatever the value of that pixel directly below the one on top, it's going to subtract that value. So what this is going to do is it's going to remove a lot of that washout from the image, that gray looking overcast, and it's going to pop the colors and it's going to make the contrast a lot better, even better than, than what GIMP was able to do in the, um, what GIMP was able to do with the auto adjust of the, of the input levels on the histogram. All right, so now what I found with, with this type of operation is typically if you set it, your, your level somewhere between 10 to 25%. That usually does a really good job of enhancing the image. And I'm going to set this one to about 20%. about 20 percent all right so you see how much better the image looks now compared to when we just adjusted the lighting in the in the image the histogram okay now i'm gonna i'm gonna take this top level layer that we just used to do this subtract from the layer below it and i'm gonna make it invisible so it doesn't have any effect okay so now now look at the image and this is the image after we adjusted the histogram right and now I'm going to show it again. Now see what an enhancement that was. It looks like a it looks like a completely different image. Look at how the colors pop now. Look at the uh, watch the clouds when I deselect this again when I hide it again. Watch the clouds. Now see see how you have very little contrast in the cloud layer. Now watch when I apply it again. Now you see how much more enhanced the clouds are. Um, they have a little more detail to them. Now watch the top of the mountains there. You see the mountains where the, where the snow is. And I'm going to apply it again. Now do you see how much more color there is on the top of the mountains, even with the snow, and, and a lot more contrast than what there was before. See the difference? Now look at these bushes and this uh, desert grass, um, blonde colored uh, desert grass. Now watch when I when I remove the filter. Now see how washed out everything looks. Now watch when I apply it again. It enhances this simple process enhances every single bit of your photo, from the light colors to the dark colors. So if you just go in. With any, any image that has this washed out look to it, this faded look to it, where it just doesn't have a lot of color in it and it doesn't have a lot of contrast. You just bring the image up and if it's an outdoor image, just let um, GIMP do the auto adjustment on the input levels on the histogram. That's a pretty good improvement. And then just duplicating it and creating a grayscale image and switching the mode from normal to subtract. And then, you know, just based on personal preference, adjust it until you like the look of the image. I like it with about 20% opacity. So, so I'm reducing the effect of that subtract mode by almost 80%, 20, it's 20.2. 20, so um, what, 79.8. I'm, I'm reducing the effect by, by um, 79.8 percent and i think that looks really really good but you can't you can increase it you can decrease it just depending on where you get it where you think it looks the best but what an improvement that simple procedure makes on enhancing the color and enhancing the contrast of your image so even if you've got a pretty good camera like i have you can, you can make your photos look even better with a little bit of adjustment inside the GIMP. So I hope that helps you guys enhance your photos, especially the ones that looked a little washed out like mine did. And I knew it was going to look that way when I took it, which is why I used it for this uh, episode. But remember, you can create freely, and I will see you in the next episode.